Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since I made a video. Um, both the cars have kind of been on hold for about the last month and a half. Um, the X-Pipe on the C63 broke, so we had to wait for one to come to Germany. That finally got replaced yesterday. Um, it had this nasty rattle in the old one. We got rid of that nasty rattle. Um, I'll show you a little clip of it. So now that that nasty rattle is gone, the car is running at 100%. I gotta go get my draggy back. A friend of mine borrowed it and we'll get some better draggy times with it. I also ordered the tires for the drag radials. So that'll be coming hopefully in the next week or two. Um, today though, we are doing the bumper on the Ford Raptor. So it's been a few months. I've been waiting to do this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do it today. We're gonna cut the frame. We're gonna get the Raptor's bumper put on. The SVC bumper should look pretty good. Um, we'll kind of go through the install process. I'm not going to video record all of it. There's tons of videos where you can see people taking the bumper off and stuff like that. I will show you guys exactly where you need to cut. And I think that's it. We're going to go ahead and get this install started. I'm expecting it to take a day or two. So yeah, here we go. All right, you guys, status update. We got the bumper off. We got the grill off so we can mount the thing for the uh, what is it called the cruise control I don't know. anyway the adaptive cruise control that's the thing for the adaptive cruise control right there that's going to mount up here um we've cut one side off i still need to grind it down i was getting ready to start the other one off and then i forgot that i told you guys where to cut so on the top you're cutting right in between that dot and that little square then you can see my line going down and then underneath you cut right to the back of that square and uh then you grind it down you shoot it with some some paint to seal it and then we'll get to mounting the bumper but that's the only update i have for right now i'm gonna get back to doing this we're about two hours in so we're gonna keep on trucking all right guys welcome back it's day two um we ended day one kind of early i painted the metal um where we did the cuts and i was waiting for it to dry I tried to change the blade on a grinder without unplugging the grinder and it almost ripped my finger off, but thankfully that didn't happen. Um, we got the new bumper sitting out here. I've installed all the lights on it. So we got uh, 10 inch Baja Designs light bar. It's something hard to see. There's a 30 inch one and there's another 10 inch one. Um, this morning, um, the only thing I've done this morning is put those little metal tubes in that keep you from squishing the frame down when you tighten down the bumper those metal tubes had to be shaved down a little bit they came from uh svc off-road a little bit too long i shaved them down with the grinder and that's where we're at right now so right now we're letting the paint dry then we'll test fit the bumper and then we'll get it all mocked up and go from there i'll catch up to you guys in a minute all right guys quick update this is where we're at now all right so i got the uh the adaptive cruise control module set um i have it tilted a little bit down i may have to adjust it we're not going to know until i get in the car and actually start so i got the jack holding the steering rack up we had to take the two steering rack bolts out i got all the tubes for the turbos put back in um and now we're at the point where i've repainted these so there's no marks left on them so it won't rust um i got the, the metal tubes in i had to grind them down a little bit and uh yeah so we're at the point now where we go ahead and install the bumper. So we're gonna line that up. And uh, once we line that up, we'll get all the bolts put in and we will see where we're at. All right, let's get back at it. All right, what's up guys? Checking back in. I look like a mess right now. Um, It's been problematic. The frame bolts haven't fit. I've had to grind down the frame a lot more than I had originally cut it. So that has been an issue. I think I got it cut now. Um the grills back together all this is back together we literally just need to slide the bumper on um these two steering rack bolts and this cut right here on the frame those two steering rack bolts are a bitch to get in i figured out a way to get them in the frame bolts i cannot get through so i've been working for like the last three hours to regrind it down um make sure everything's gonna i don't know I cut down like maybe another quarter of an inch off of it. So hopefully it'll slide on the rest of the way. Um, once that's done, I just have to wire it up and we're, we're done. Um, I've just waited for the paint to dry for about 45 minutes. Um, I'm cutting 
the belly plate now. There has to be a two inch cut off the belly plate. So I'll go ahead and get the belly plate cut on. I got the lights all wired in. Oh, I had to remove all the boost tubes again because I couldn't get to the back side of these bolts with the boost tube in. So anyway, so I'm waiting for my wife to get back right now because she has to help me with one arm. I can't put the bumper on without her. So I'm waiting for her to get back. And now I'm getting ready to cut this belly plate a little, cut the belly plate a little more. Hey, what's up guys? All right, day number three. Um, yesterday we had a lot of trouble getting, uh, I can't really kind of see them now, these frame bolts through. Um, I ended up having to grind away about an uh, eighth of an inch on the back side of the holes. Um, but we got them in, it's, uh, the bumper is mounted. She is fully mounted right now. Uh, all the boost tubes are back together, the grill is back together intercoolers back together um these bolts right here were a bit of a pain in the ass because they had to be torqued to 180 foot pounds which you know i don't think i was strong enough to do so i did it with my foot but i got it done today we're gonna wire it up the lights we got the wire harness right here we gotta dig back there and find the auxiliary switch wires um and that's where we're at right now um, you can see, look how much grinding I had to do. Look at all the fucking metal. I spent hours grinding yesterday on the frame. The frame cut was too long, so I had to grind it back like uh, maybe a little more than a quarter of an inch all the way around on both sides. Um, but we got it done. So here we are. Let's get this shit wired up, and I'll check back in a little bit. Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry about the guy blowing leaves in the background. We are done. We have the truck done, we got the bumper on, everything works. She's looking mighty good. Got all the lights wired up, grounded. We have two grounds, one from the main wire, one from the relays. We have our power right there. We're connected to the pass-through wires coming from the switches. Um, we have two 30 amp relays. Um, I'm gonna mount all this up for right now. I just wanted to make sure it worked. Um, it's gonna stay like that for a few days though because i am beat with working on car stuff so all the lights are on i'll give you all a little test there we go and this is in broad daylight look how bright they are so that's going to be it guys i mean other than other than my busted pinky from <clears throat> from the grinder my pinky's pretty fucking swollen i probably should go to the doctor but i don't think i'm going to but other than that we are done the bumper's done like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace